Yo guys, what is up? It is Cold here. Welcome back to another video. Now, it's 1am uh, in Australia at the time of recording this video, and I was prepared to do a live stream at 2am uh, with all this info, a live stream, you know, as it comes out. But 2K are awesome and decided to drop the info four hours earlier than I expected. See, all the tweets they would, uh, built up for the last three days leading to this were released, all released at 2am, with exception for one, which was at 2.02am. So naturally, I assume... The info will drop at 2 a.m., right? No, it doesn't. It drops at 10 p.m., and I only find out about it now. But I've looked through it all. I've read all the articles. Uh, there's a lot of cool info on there. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen it, heard about it already. If not, just go to uh, the WW2K Battlegrounds Twitter page. I will link it in the description as well if I remember. Uh, hopefully, I do. What we're going to be looking at in this video is more of a, a different look at it. I mean, we've seen some cool stuff. Uh, the trailer's pretty cool if you haven't seen that already. But we're actually going to be looking at um, a couple things. Like, the title's probably going to be more about like how the cover's been revealed and all these details out. The cover does look pretty cool, by the way. I like it. Undertaker and the Fiend. Love that that should happen. The match should happen at Survivor Series. I'm just saying. Um, but look, yeah. It looks like a crazy game. you got a lot of crazy uh, features in there. But, you know, everybody's already been over this a million times. I'm sure the other YouTubers have already beat me to it. I don't need to just sit here and read the articles for you guys. I'm interested in a couple of things. I guess the bigger take, the biggest takeaways we've got from this reveal. Um, yes, we know a bit more about the game. We still haven't seen gameplay, which is obviously the biggest thing. But what I want to take away is just to do with the actual um, distribution of the game. So what we've got here is the image... Um, what you get in the different editions so in the standard you just get the game and the pre-order bonus which is Edge and his totally awesome pre-order pack 40 US as well I think is slightly too expensive for this game um, I think it should be 30 but hey that's the price they're going for let's just let them have it and then obviously with the digital deluxe you also get the digital deluxe bonus pack and 1100 golden bucks which can be used to unlock players and cosmetic items and I don't know how much 1100 golden bucks is worth bear in mind you're it's a ten dollar extra it's not that much um, I think a lot of people are gonna go for the digital deluxe if they're getting the game digitally if you're getting the game physically as of now you can only get the standard edition physically I'm, I'm, I'd like to think that would change it'd be a good marketing thing but I'm not the head of 2k so I couldn't tell you um, what else have we got? The game isn't on the next generation. That's a big takeaway. Um, not a lot of people really expected it. I mean, the game's releasing after 2K21, I'm fairly sure, NBA. And that game's obviously still on the next gen, so I don't know what they... I mean, obviously, they've been sitting on this for years. We already know that. So, I don't. not a lot of people expect it to be on the next gen. I'd like to think they'd let it be backwards compatible at the very least. Um, but I don't think it will be made for next gen I don't think they will do what they're doing with NBA 2k21 and all that but anyway regardless of that's kind of weird GTA 5 was released in what 2013 and it's coming to PS5 Battlegrounds is going to be released two months before the PS5 and Xbox Series X and it ain't coming <laughs> it's a bit funny anyway um, we've gone over that but what I want to freaking look at is the digital deluxe pack what the hell is it I don't understand what it is. So, Race Some Hell with Stone Cold Steve Austin, lay the Smackdown with the Attitude Era version of The Rock, and get rowdy with Ronda Rousey. WWE 2K Battlegrounds Digital Deluxe Edition includes three versions of each superstar. What does that mean? What What does that mean? I don't... It's not very descriptive. So, we'll zoom in. What can we see here? So, we've got Ronda Rousey, Stone Cold and The Rock. There's lich. They don't look different there. I don't know... When they say three versions of each superstar, I have no idea what they mean. Every superstar in the game, three versions of those three superstars? I, I'm really confused. And I think I found my answer right here. In this, um, this is like this article pretty much summarizes everything. There's like a million different articles that they've released, IGN have released. Um, and this pretty much summarizes everything. I think there's just, if there's one article you got to read, it's expanding on the campaign mode, which you might quickly go over at the end of the video. But... No, so you get all versions of Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock at launch with the Digital Deluxe Pack. 
I really don't see how that's that attractive. I don't know, as I said, I don't know how much 1,100 gold, golden bucks is worth. I don't know. I'm assuming you'll be able to buy golden bucks as an um, add-on. So I don't know how much 1,100 golden bucks is worth. I'd like to hope it's at least $15 worth of golden bucks because, as I said, this digital deluxe pack doesn't seem that appealing at all. It's not something... I don't think anyone really cares, but some people might. I don't know. Because I don't even know what versions we're getting. I don't... You know, you get the Attitude Era version of The Rock, but that's all they've really said. Anyway, um, we've obviously got a lot of names revealed. 70... Something I read. 70 superstars and... They'll uh, update, free updates of more superstars after release, which is incredible. I love it. Um, campaign. So you do have a campaign in here, um, and you get to pick pretty much a Baron Blade, if you will. So it's a pre-made guy, but there's seven of them you get to pick. And Paul Heyman and Stone Cold are looking for the guy, and obviously you're going to be that guy. But yeah, look, I'm not going to waste your time and just read the articles for you. There's a lot of articles out there. As I said, it's 1 a.m., I just want to quickly go over that, and that's my, personally, my biggest takeaway is it's not on next gen, and I know the digital deluxe is only $10 more, but what is that? Like, what? And it's on Google Stadia, which we already kind of knew, but that's kind of cool. And yeah, I'm going to end off the video there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, smash the like button. Sorry if it's not what you guys expected. We'll do something a lot bigger when we get some gameplay. And yeah, anyway, thank you all for watching. I'll see you later. Saga!